So a question I'm asked all the time is what is basal liposuction? Well, basal liposuction is a type of liposuction. Liposuction is a treatment that's been around since the early 70s, which at that time involved a general anaesthetic and then putting in thick suction cannulas and sucking out the fatty contents. In the mid 80s, an American dermatologist called Dr. Klein, he devised a revolutionary method of putting in local anaesthetic into a treated area before sucking it out. Hence, the whole thing could be done under local anaesthetic. Now, putting it in local anaesthetic is called tumescent. So the whole area of liposuction was thereafter termed tumescent liposuction. Basal liposuction is just a way of breaking up the fat after we put the local anaesthetic in, i.e. the tumescent, loosen it all up before we suck it out. And the reason I like to loosen it up because then the fat is a little bit more liquid and so once I've sucked it out, I can get, then get a little bit more artistic and start sculpting around the muscles, hence the mid and high def, depending on how sculpted we want the outlook to be. So, how do we do it? Well, the first step is putting in the local anaesthetic. And this is, involves litre bags of fluid, which is mixed with local anaesthetic and a little bit of adrenaline. It then goes through a tube into a long, blunt needle, which is called a cannula. And this has got holes in the end, and this is attached to the tube. And I make tiny incisions inside the, in, in the treated area, such as the tummy button, and the nipple area, the groin, lower back. Insert this, and then I flood the whole area with sometimes about three or four litres of local anaesthetic. I then let that numb out. I then start the baser. Now, baser is a long titanium rod, and this comes in various sizes and thicknesses, attached to a handpiece which is attached to my device. Now, as this end comes into contact with the fatty tissue, it loosens up the fat. It uses its high frequency vibration. It just comes into contact and it just breaks it all up. Now you can imagine, for instance, if I'm treating uh, the abdomen, some areas of the abdomen are quite hard, knotted. Some areas of the fat are quite soft. So what I want to do is make sure all the fat in the area is nice, nice and soft and semi-liquefied. It takes about 15 to uh, 20 minutes. Once I've done the baser, I want to suck it out. Now there's two, there's two methods I use to aspirate the fat. One is manual. Now this is a sort of manual liposuction cannula, and I can just insert it in and I can just move it back and forth. Uh, it's tiny holes at the end and the fatty content will, will go through a tube. Now over the last two or three years, I've started to use para-assisted liposuction, particularly for areas like the flanks, abdomen and chest, where there's sometimes got a lot of fat to do and I want to do more sculpting. So para-assisted is just exactly the same as manual, but instead of me having to move my hand back and forth, it clips onto a handle and this vibrates about 30,000 times a minute, and it makes it a lot easier for me to remove the fat. So what is the difference between baser, baser mid-def, and baser high-def? Well, baser is just removing the fat, i.e. reshaping the area. For instance, I would use baser liposuction on the thighs, maybe the chest, upper back, flanks, where I just want to remove as much fat as I need and shape the area. So once I remove the fat, I can then move the treatment forward and do basal mid or basal high def. So basal mid and basal high def are just extensions of normal basal. And they're predominantly used on the chest, abdomen, and sometimes the flanks. And what that is, is once I've removed all the fat, I can then get quite artistic and start sculpting around the muscles to enhance and to amplify the musculature of that area. Mid def on the abdomen is more of a sort of athletic toned look, whereas the high def is really sculpting out the six-pack. 